Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, we're going to talk about working permit here in Guernsey Immigration So, lahat ng yan, tuatalaka rin po natin kung ano ba yung mga requirements ng working permit to work here in Guernsey So, as for the moment, nandito ka tayo ngayon sa St. Peter Port Ito yung um, pinaka city dito sa, sa island na to So, see you in a bit guys Hello again guys, so let's start talking about working permit here in Guernsey Immigration So if you got your employer guys, um, you received already your job offer letter or contract Meron na kayong employer, confirm na So the number one you need to do is your IELTS So IELTS means International English Language Test System so, yan yung pinakaunang requirements po natin para makakuha ng working permit. So, lahat ng pupunta dito sa UK or dito sa Guernsey, requirements po yan. Kung kahit anong position, magiging waiter, bartender, chef. So, all you need to do is to book online na pinakamalapit sa lugar nyo. Kung nasa, nasa Dubai man kayo, mag, maghanap kayo ng pinakamalapit na... Ano, na review center or nagkakandak ng IELTS kasi yan po ang pinakaimportante at saka nasa Pinas na po kayo um, you need to book your in your city kung nasa Ilo, Ilo ka or nasa Davao you need to do or you need to book your online IELTS so yan po ang pinakaimportante normally um, pwede na po siyang B1 which is uh, listening and speaking so you need to review all that one in um, YouTube so, marami pong mga conversation or mga activity regarding sa B1. So, yung B1 guys, um, dalawa lang po yan ang result. It's either passed or failed po kayo. Pero siguro, hindi naman siguro kayo ma-failed ni kasi mag-review mag lang kayo. So, it's worth it na kailangan dapat um, maipasan nyo yung IELTS na yan. So, normally, yung sa Pilipinas, uh, it cost uh, 9,000 to 10,000 pesos para magpabook ng IELTS so 
just check your online sa website kung ano yung pinakamalapit na pwede yung mabuk na ano na IELTS test. So normally guys, yung result ng IELTS um, it takes 7 to 10 days um, kasi nga pandemic ngayon so na pwede nyo ring to be picked up yung result or to be delivered sa bahay nyo. So number 2 is updated passport. So kailangan po natin ng updated passport hindi yung malapit ng mag-expired. So kung malapit ng mag-expired, you need to renew it as soon as possible before kayo makapag-process ng papers niyo para walang conflict pagdating dito. So yan yung mga yung pangalawang importante na uh, dapat yung i-comply yung valid passport. So number three, certifications. So lahat ng mga certifications you guys um I, ano nyo yan, isesend nyo yan dito sa sa Guernsey, actually isesend naman lahat talaga, lahat ng hard copy ng uh, requirements dito sa Guernsey, kung nasa Pinas kayo um, you need to send it uh, Guernsey to Guernsey Immigration and then nandun na yung makasama na yung IELTS nyo, yung passport nyo at saka yung, mga, yung certification um, be careful lang guys kung magsend na kayo ng working permit dito sa Guernsey Immigration, you need to heads up or you need to um, verify or you need to inform those employers sa mga previous nyo kasi yung Guernsey Immigration, they will call you uh, they will confirm or they will ver verify sa mga certification nyo kung uh, totoo ba talaga nand nandun kayo galing, doon kayo nagtatrabaho so dapat ma-heads up nyo yun, yung sa, mga, sa HR or yung mga manager nyo dati just in case may mag-email from Guernsey Immigration um, ma-replyan nila kaagad kasi may tendency na if ever na walang ma-reply sa ano sa email ng ng Girls Immigration pwede or possible po na matidinay yung working permit nyo so number 4 you need to download a criminal record form uh, one of the requirements din yan sa pag-process ng ating working permit here in Guernsey Immigration so makikita nyo yan sa website or um uh, isi-search nyo lang po yung state of Guernsey uh, criminal record form and you need to sign na wala kayong previous na mga criminal record and isa na rin yan sa mga kasamahan sa ating uh, mga one of the requirements sa ating dito sa pag-process ng ating number 5 working permit application form so you need to download that one because um, nandun po yung complete details nyo pifill up na yung form um, hard copy po siya nandun yung mga names complete names nyo, yung address yung passport number at saka kasama na rin yung, yung past experience nyo doon sa trabaho nyo, so kailangan yung ma-fill up doon uh, I think it's um, 14 to 15 pages po yun so downloaded it and then you need to sign para kasama, isasama po yan sa pagpapadala dito sa ating pagpaprasis sa working. So, lahat ng po yan, guys, um, actually, may employer naman na kayo. So, lahat ng po yan, depende kung hihingin, sila, hihingin nila sa inyo yung hard copy or photocopy lang. Kasi nga, uh, I think, pwede na siguro photocopy kasi nga pandemic. So, if required man sa inyo na ipadala dito sa current immigration, you need to send it here. Um, through DHL, kung ano man yung FedEx na pwede nyong mapadalhan. Uh, kung nasa uh, Middle East naman po kayo um, you need to send it here as well yung, normally DHL talaga yung pinakakomo na pwedeng magpadala so lahat-lahat ng requirements na yun na binanggit ko uh, is ipapadala nyo po yan dito to process working permit so kung naipadala nyo na po yan lahat guys um, I think it's one week uh, maximum one week 5 or 6 days 7 days sa kanila ma-receive yung um, pinadala mo ng mga documents so kung napadala mo na siya yung employer mo if you forward yan sa, dito sa uh, Guernsey Immigration and they will pay 500 pounds or it cost 30,000 35,000 pesos so it depends na lang po dyan sa inyo kung depend kung ano yung napag-usapan nyo sa job offer letter or sa contract nyo kung salary deduction ba or yung it depends sa contract mo kung kasi yung yung sa case ko is um yung employer ka na mismo ang nagbabayad ng ng working permit pero salary deduction siya that is cost 500 uh, 500 pounds it takes um 
dati guys yung working permit it takes 5 to 6 weeks but since um, um, kailangan talaga ng, ng staff dito hospitality staff sa Guernsey so binabaan po nila instead of 5 to 6 weeks yung approval yung working permit uh, they made it um, they make the new rule na at least 3 weeks malalabas na yung working permit nyo so after 3 weeks guys ma-receive nyo na yung working permit nyo kasi nga ipaprocess yan dito 3, three weeks so lumapas na nakuha na yung working permit ng employer mo so ipapadala po yan hard copy at saka naka-attach doon yung isang letter kung paano mag-process ng um, UK visa mo so ipapadala yan sa inyo uh, it takes 5 to 1 week 5 days or 1 week na naman saka nyo ma-receive yung working permit na yun saka doon kayo mag-uumpisa mag-process ng UK visa so for the next video guys um, ipapaki, uh, ipapaliwanag po sa inyo kung paano kumuha, po, kumuha ng UK visa or paano magbayad online ng UK visa so ulitin ko guys sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam so Guernsey is not part of UK um, it is a British Channel Island um, we have our own state here crown uh, independency but our money uh, they accept uh, pounds yeah so kung may mga tanong pa po kayo guys don't forget to comment down and of course um, don't forget to like and share sa opportunity na to and kung bago pa lang po kayo sa akin channel please don't forget to subscribe uh, July Alvarado TV and, and see you soon guys for, for my next vlog so uh, stay safe everyone God bless us all thank you so much for watching my video God bless us all